Hello soulmates, welcome to Joy Honest Academy. My name is Justice. So in this video, we're going to be learning how to make the beautiful dress you saw on the thumbnail. That is a dart manipulated gown with a sash. Okay, so for us to create this style, we're going to be needing our half full pattern. Our basic bodice pattern, which is um, just um, half of it. This is a gown, so wherever you want the gown to stop, that is where your pattern is going to be stopping. Okay, so I just divided the purple pattern into two, and I'm going to be working with just one part of the pattern. Now it's time for us to slash, and um, you can see how we're going to manipulate the dart. We're going to be slashing it. And that will come after we've closed it so that it will be possible for us to um, transfer the dart into other areas. Okay, so we're, we're going to be closing our waist dart and slash it into other areas. We're also going to be closing the bust dart. Okay, so I believe you can see what is in the video. So closing the darts will make it possible for you to draw other um, slash lines that will enable you to mark where or how you want the lines to be. Then the skirt part, the lower part of the gown, it is also necessary that you close it in case you want to um, slash the lines in a different direction. So now that we've finished closing the dart, it's time to cut it open. But make sure that as you're cutting, you're also going to pass through the dart point so that it opens very wide for you. Oh, that's not supposed to cut out entirely. And I'm going to fix it back. So you can see what we have in the video. You can see the way I slashed the um, pattern. You can slash yours the way you want. Just make sure that you cut exactly where the dart passes through so that everything will open out very well for you. Since I'm speaking so much so that so that so that. Anyway, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. This might be so much, but then there is no problem. So here I have a long um paper you can want this as long as you want but because this is a miniature dress the sash is going to just be small i must still be folding it because the fabric is not as long as this so if you want the the rope or whatever to be too long very long it's a matter of choice so this is what we have. I folded it because the fabric is not enough. So if your fabric is enough, feel free to take it as long as you want. So once we folded our paper like this, we're now going to mark adding our sewing allowance, wearing um yeah, sewing allowance, put at the sides and normal sewing allowance. Okay, it's always good if you use a stretchy fabric for this, but even without a st stretchy fabric, you can do this, right? You can. And of course, the back is just normal back, so you can even add zipper at the back of it. It's just a matter of choice. And of course, the neckline is high, so you can add zipper at the back. There's no alteration at the back side of it. The gown have you subscribed to our channel please if you've not done so kindly do so subscribe to this channel and you'll be having more and more videos come your way very interesting and educative videos so I'm going to be cutting my fabric I'm going to be cutting my fabric right round using my sewing allowance and that is the shoulders okay 
and that is the armhole. There are so many things you can do with your dart. So many, so many, so many things that you can do with the dart. If only you understand the basic of that manipulation, that transfer, um, added fullness, and all that. These are um, core pattern principles that you need to understand. When you understand them, every other thing becomes easy and simple for you to do. So you can see what we have. This fabric is called or is cut on fold. So we have to for this front part there. It's cut on fold. So what we're going to do is that we're going to be sewing it. You can see the way it is here. We're going to be sewing um the sash area. That is the rope area, or I don't know what to call it, and then joining it together. You can see the way I folded this part. So we're going to um sew this long part first on the two sides of them, and then join it together. Make sure you arrange it properly so that no part will be folding. So this is how I'm going to sew it, right? I believe you can just sew it the way you like. Either I sew it on a straight line or sew it like um, the square. Should I say square or what? I don't know, just sew it. <laughs> okay. Mm. So as it's finished sewing, you bring out every part and make sure it is it is so um relaxed. You can iron it to make it so relaxed. This is just a pieces for the sake of illustration. It's advisable you iron it very flat. So I've done the two sides. I've done the two sides and I'm going to be joining them together. So the thing is that as you sew this, make it possible that you can join the two of them together. Don't allow any parts to be too puffy or too heavy that it will be difficult for you to join them. So from the neck base, of course, this design is going to have or joining at the center front okay so if you do it and you have a joining at the center front that is just the way it is you have you've not done anything wrong so I'm going to be joining it at the center front I hope you understand what is going on so I'll put them together And sew it just the way it is. So I've sewn it as you can see in the video. I've sewn it. Yeah. Then opening it up. This is what we have. You can see the sash. That is what we have. And of course, our dart is in there, so it's not um, going to be like it's a fitted, well-fitted dress. You can use the um, rope that you've seen to tie it around your waist and make it look so, so, so beautiful. So you're going to be seeing this on our miniature dress form. And see how it looks so beautiful you can tie it in the front like this the 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 rope is quite small but it's manageable so you can tie it at the front this way good or you can choose to use it as a rope like this I think this is more beautiful if you do it this way yeah 
and that is it i hope you like this video please kindly subscribe give it a thumbs up share it talk about our channel watch from beginning to the end invite someone else see ya bye